Are you kidding me? Look at this thing. This is the new Beta FPV Pavo Pico, and this is a 100 gram whoop that fits in the palm of your hand and has an O3 air unit on board. Alright guys, I cannot get over how small this thing is. When the O3 air unit came out, I knew that it was going to be one of the most popular options for drones aiming to be under 250 grams and still able to film stabilized 4K footage, but I didn't expect a drone this small. So this is the Pavo Pico, and I'm pretty sure that this is the smallest Cinewhoop that you can get right now. The drone is powered by a two cell 450 milliamp LiPo that realistically gives you about three minutes of flight time. And honestly, when I'm using a whoop like this, three minutes is quick, but it works fine. So I'm not doing an unboxing in this video, but in the box you get everything here except for the O3 air unit. Installing the O3 is very straightforward and it took me about five minutes to do. Since there's a plug already on the drone for the O3 air unit in the back, you pretty much just secure the O3 air unit to this top plastic shell, push the antennas through the bowls in the back, mount the camera to these front two brackets and coil up the coaxial cable in between the two, and then you mount it to the frame using four screws and dampeners that are included in the kit. Once it's all secured to the frame, you can just plug it in and you're good to go. The flight controller on this drone is Beta FPV's all-in-one F4 12 amp board. It's labeled as a 1S board, but it clearly supports 2S since it comes with a 2S LiPo, plus it's powering the O3. This all-in-one board also has a 2.4 gigahertz serial ELRS receiver built right in. Can you guys see the motors? The motors on this are Beta FPV's 1102 14,000 kV motors, and the props are Gemfan Tri-Blade 45 millimeter props. The frame consists of two pieces. You've got the carbon fiber plate that's kind of holding everything together, and then you have the plastic prop guards that surround the propellers, and it also has a battery cage as a part of it. The battery compartment is about 14 millimeters by 16 millimeters, so you can fit batteries other than the included uh, 450 milliamp 2S LiPo that they give you. As long as it has an XT30 connector and fits those dimensions, you'll be able to fit it on this drone. Overall, this is a very, very clean and simple design from Beta FPV. I love how small this thing is. Let's put this thing to the test and see how it flies.
the quality of the O3 air unit is really starting to impress me and having it available on a 100 gram whoop like this is awesome. Big props to Beta FPV for the design on this one. Now, I wasn't a part of the whole beta test that they ran on this, but the only thing I think I would modify with the design is the camera mounting. Since they have the camera kind of hard mounted to the shell that's holding the O3 air unit, I think that the camera would really benefit from separate dampening mounting um, other than the four mounts that are kind of like on the bottom of this. So I think if the camera had its own individual dampened mount, it would get rid of some of those micro vibrations that you see in the video. Other than that, the drone flies awesome and it actually doesn't feel weighed down too much. It's pretty solid at light freestyle. It'll definitely get blown around in the wind, but for indoor flying, this thing is a lot of fun to fly. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe to the channel, leave the video a like, and if you have any questions about the new beta FPV Pavo Pico, leave a comment down below.